Hello everyone, Luzonon here. Today, I want to show you my, of course, once again, the deck I used to hit masters with, which is once again Master Dragon. Let's look at it. So, for this season, the deck got some very powerful two in Disintegrate. This allows us to basically go over pretty much anything. The deck also has a lot more focus on buns and Fable Twirlers in general. That includes like self-recall and so on. And yeah, let's look at the cards one by one. First, we have Ravnus Flop because once again, we're gonna do something involving stuns a lot. Uh, and since we have stuns, might as well abuse the sun anyway. Alternatively, just a knife form from Katarina can also activate Flop. Morn, once again, is the synergy point for um, Fablet Twirler. Morn alone can also do quite a bit of damage to the opponent's face. Especially when we have Cat ready. If at all possible, we would like to trade this away though. Like for example, if an opposing elusive attacks or something, we, I would just block with Morn. Otherwise, go face and make Faye big. Now Disintegrate, this card is broken. Riot kind of fixed this during the last patch, making this no longer work on uh, zero damage tough and barrier. But it is still really good because due to Bart's going around, right, the meta actually is very stats heavy. And Disintegrate allows us to basically just ignore the stats, like, completely. Now, Fable Twirler, because of the exact same reason, because the meta is so stats heavy, we need something that scales with the game. So basically, with a Morn attack, with Cat attack, Fae's gonna grow by, like, 4 per turn. And we're gonna grow multiple times a turn, because Cat can rally. This allows us to contest with those stats heavy decks around. House Spider, of course, is still our anti-aggro too. We still need this, definitely. Nobify, there used to be like one Nobify in the deck, and I boost that to three because of how popular these sheep interactive spells are, right? From Bard decks that run single combat or Cataclysm to Mystic Shots and Opposing Disintegrate. Retreat is, once again, a fourth Twin Discipline. And while we add that, I'll just jump to Twin Discipline right away. Right away. Twin Discipline serves as a survival Two for key units like Z, Katarina, or even Faye. Spell Slinger is a break for the opponent's attack, or if the defender gets too big, we just stun the defender and go over them. Spell Slinger and not a run on sentry because two mana actually is a lot cheaper than three, especially when we consider the need to also play Katarina. And Katarina, of course, is our rally equipment. Um, this is basically our um, rally tube. Also, the knife is hella useful against a lot of different things. Might, Kato, and Horns doesn't really need an explanation at this point. Next would be Reckless Trifarian. Uh, if you read my Reddit guide, this slot used to be um, Shadow Assassin. Shadow Assassin isn't really worth the spot anymore when she can 1. be easily pinged down, 2. Easily get contested on the board by like Esmus or something. It's much better for us to just go for a 3 mana 5 4. This is also a good might recipient and a good Kato pair. Zed is once again free attacker, win condition sometimes, mystic shot bait, removal bait, and so on. Deny is deny, and that's it for the deck. Alright, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.